Hey guys, my name is Ayamesh. Today we're going to learn how to connect MongoDB using Node.js. So let's get started. So if you see that I have already configured my MongoDB. So if you see that I don't have any collections right now. So first we will try to create one express app. Then we'll try to create connect the MongoDB. Then we'll try to create one collection and we'll insert the data. So, so we need to create the first express app. Let's go to new and create a project. I'm using Node.js and NPM plugin first and I'm using IntelliJ IDEA 15 edition IDE. So if you don't see that Node.js and plugin, sorry, Node.js and NPM plugin, please install the plugin and restart it, restart your IDE. So let's click on next and we'll name it as MongoDB demo. So this will create the express application for us. Once it is done, we'll try to connect the MongoDB. This might take around one to two minutes, it depends on your system and internet connection. Okay, looks like it is done. So once it is done, I need to create one HTTP server for my application. So to create an HTTP server, I'll write var HTTP, bad at var HTTP and require HTTP. To create a server, I need port also, right? So I'll write port uh, process dot env dot port. So my port is 3000 now. So once it is done, I'll create a server using HTTP module, HTTP create server for application and it will listen on port. Sorry, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Yeah, and I'll write console.log. Hey, I'm listening on port. Port. So once it is done, let's run this file. Okay, I want to check whether it is running correctly or not. To check that, write localhost colon 3000. So if you see this screen, that means you are successfully running your Express application and you are ready to connect the MongoDB. To connect the MongoDB, we require MongoDB module. So there are several MongoDB modules for the Node.js, but in this particular video, we are going to use the MongoDB module, which is actually developed by MongoDB. So to do that, let's go to the Google first. And try to search npm or mongodb npm so probably it would be your first link so once it is done go to the below now if you go back yes connecting mongodb let's create app.js file then we'll use the basic rod operations to create mongodb driver to write that we need to require mongodb and mongodb client so we'll just copy that file and probably we need one route. Let's create the route first. App dot, I'm taking just get method and let's write mongodb and pass the function, which function takes request and response. And let's say response saying, hey, I will connect to mongodb. Then Copy that, restart your Node.js server, probably here, and slash this. Okay, sorry, mm, there is spelling mistake. Yes. No? Yes. Hey, I will connect the MongoDB. Right. So once it is done, the thing which we have already copied and pasted here. Sorry. Yes. copy this file and once it is done try to restart your application it probably you should get one error okay if not okay probably you'll get an error since we did not include mongodb module to our project to install the mongodb module to your project go to your terminal and write npm install 
MongoDB and say so once it is done so let me quickly stop this video as of now and I have one config file I need to add one config file which will have my host and other authentication purpose I, which I don't want you to see that okay let's and I'm back so once you include the MongoDB module to your project if you restart your project it should not be see any error so I'm not seeing any error so I'll go forward so once we copied the client code then I'll go back to the MongoDB so and I require a URL to connect the MongoDB so I'll copy this URL and paste it here okay it is done so instead of writing I'll just come in that and write my own URL so first pass your host name then your port name and then your database name so once it is done and try to connect the mongodb with this url to connect the mongodb i need to write mongo.client and connect pass the url the function takes error and db <clears throat> sorry yes so this particular db or database or the mongodb client uh, sorry my mongodb connection requires one more authentication which is user authentication to authenticate the user i need to write db dot authenticate which takes config dot username and config dot passer once it is done i need to pass the function i'll write auth error and auth result maybe yes sorry yes once it is done if i don't see any auth okay auth error or if i don't see any mongodb connection error that means i have successfully connected my mongodb okay successfully connected okay that is enough i guess yes so restart your project and go to your browser and let's see so i have successfully connected my mongodb so once i successfully connected mongodb i need to insert some data and if i go back to my Rob, robomongo client i don't see any collections as of now now let's create one collection and insert the data since the mongodb is a dynamic schema when i'm trying to insert some data into collection which is really does not exist in your database the mongodb will create collection and insert the data i'll show you right now that let's write data and i am inserting json array and take name maybe youtube and url would be www.youtube.com so once it is done i will insert this data into my mongodb collection so insert the data db dot collection let's create demo collection first and then sorry yes and write insert many so <coughs> sorry and pass the data once you pass the data and write the function and data error and maybe data result yes if i don't see any data error and i'll say respond dot same successfully insert it yes so i'll restart my application once and i'll go to here and reload the page 
So once it is done, it says successfully ins inserted. If I go back to my RoboMongo and if I click here once, now I can see that there is something called demo collections. So if I double click that, I should be seeing my data now. Yes. Now my data is says name name YouTube and URL is www.youtube.com. So let's insert one more data which says learn Node.js and Node.js.com. So basically that is my website to learn Node.js. So if you want to learn Node.js from starting, please visit my website. So once it is done, restart your application and go back to browser and reload the page. Now it says successfully inserted and it'll go back to here and reload the collection. I should be seeing two records now. Yes, now learn Node.js and Node.js, you are least Node.js pool.com. So once it is done, that means we have successfully connected the MongoDB, we authenticate the user, then we have created kind of created a collection and inserted the data. So since the MongoDB is a dynamic collection, if you don't see that collection name in your database, it will create the collection and it will insert the data. So this is the way we connect the database. And one more thing, yes, I forgot. So once it is done, you need to close the collection and it says you need to write db.close. Basically, it will close your open collections. So and write maybe learn Android. And my website for the learning Android is Android Toast.in. So if I go back to restart the application and yes and reload the page once now it says successfully insert, inserted and we'll go back here and i'll run the thing i can see the data so this is a way to connect the mongodb and insert in mongodb yes there are other ways to connect the mongodb i think this is one of the easiest way to connect the mongodb and inserting your data and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below or you can contact me on the twitter on the twitter at the rate sayumesh and all the useful links and one more thing is that I will be uploading coming video, I will be uploading videos explaining what is the CRUD operations on the MongoDB using Node.js like creating, deleting, updating and, and yes create reading and updating and delete the records. So you can download the project from the description and please let me know in the comment section below how did you like the video or the how did you sorry yes. So I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and if you don't like, give me a hands down. Yes. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, see you.